All right, so in this video, we are going to be considering the stack data structure. So we're going to be coding up an implementation uh, of a stack in Python. And this video will be focused primarily on understanding the data structure and giving an implementation of it. And in subsequent videos, what we'll do is we'll uh, provide certain problems uh, where a stack data structure uh, is, is particularly useful to solve the problem. So we'll be using the implementation that we use here uh, to solve those problems. So first of all, let me just describe what a stack data structure is. And based on the name, uh, it should be a relatively familiar concept. So let's assume that we have books, uh, A, B, C, and D, so very riveting titles there. And these books at the moment are just strewn out all over the floor, obviously. And what we want to do is we want to take them and stack them up neatly so that way they're not all over the floor. So what we do is we take a book, let's say we take the A book, and we'll set it down. We'll go back to our pile of books, take the B, stack that on top of the A book, take the C book, we're almost done cleaning up, put that on top of B, and then take the D book, which we place on top of the C book. So we have this now nice, neat stack of books. And if we want to retrieve a book from this stack, what we can do is we can just take the top book because taking the other books on the bottom is a bit precarious and we don't want to do that because uh, we'll topple the entire stack. So what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, be able to take the top stack, top, top book on the stack and then we can take it down and read it, do whatever. Uh, let's say we want to take the A book. Well, the A book is right now on the bottom of the stack so we need to take the C book down, put that down, get the B book, put that down and now we have access to the A book that we can take down and read. So that's kind of the main idea of what a stack is. It's very similar to just, you know, the data structure stack is very similar to a physical stack that you'd be familiar with. And what we're going to be doing is coding up the data structure version of that. So anytime we put something onto the stack, the way that we refer to that in the data structure sense is we push something on the stack. So right now I'm pushing the books on top of the stack. And basically what a push does is it puts the book that we're given to the top element. So it replaces the top element with that book. And there's also uh, another operation that we can perform on the stack, which is called popping. And that is when we take the book on the top of the stack and put it down. So I'm popping, oops, I'm popping C right now and putting that down. So push and pop are two fundamental uh, routines that we'll need for this data structure. Uh, another thing that we can do is we can also view the top element of the stack. So we can ask the data structure what's the top element and it can give that to us. Um, and we can also check whether or not the stack is empty and a few other things too that we'll uh, kind of do along the way as we implement it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to implement the stack data structure in, in Python. And to do so, I'm going to create a stack class. And the uh, constructor of this stack class is going to modify a Python list. So the Python list has a lot of the things that we're after. Um, and it's just going to make it easier for us to tweak the Python's implementation of the list to um, be adapted to what we would expect to see in a stack, namely push, pop, these sorts of things. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say self.items is equal to an empty list. So I'm defining a class variable that I'm calling items, and I'm just defining that to an empty list that's created when we create a stack object. So now let's create the push function. So push is going to be, again, a member uh, of this class, and it's going to take as an argument an item. So in this case, that item was the book. It was the name of the book that we are putting or pushing onto the top of the stack. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to uh, push whatever item we're given to the top of the stack. So what we'll do is we'll say self.items.append item. So append is a function that's built in for Python's lists, and that's just adding it to the end of the list, which is exactly what we want uh, to do for our stack, for the push function. So the other function that we need to implement is pop, 
And since we're sort of basing this off of a list, Python makes this very easy as well because there is an implicit uh, pop function. So we can just return self.items.pop. And if we do this, this will return to us the top element on the stack. So if we had a stack like this and we performed a pop, we would be returned uh, the title here, D. Okay, so another thing that we're gonna do is we're going to add a few more functions in a bit. But one thing I'm just going to do is kind of a test drive. So let's uh, have a function called get stack. And what this is gonna do is this is just gonna return uh, the items list, which is the stack object. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to define a stack object here. And we're just gonna see how this looks. So we've defined a stack object. And now let's push, uh, let's push A onto the stack. And what we'll also do is we'll push B on the stack as well. And if I wanna take a look at how the stack looks after these two operations, what I can do is I can print get stack. S dot get stack. So we'll go over here, we'll say Python stack. And what we have here is we have A and B. So the way we can visualize this is A is at the bottom of the stack and B is on, is on top. So for instance, if I was to now, uh, let's, let's push another book on, let's push C on. And then let me also pop. So basically we should get the same thing as we have over here. Uh, if I print out the stack at this point. So if I call print uh, get stack, I've pushed on A and B here, printed out the stack, pushed on a C and then just immediately popped it off. And then if I run this again, I'll get the same stack. Well, that's not very interesting, is it? Let's get rid of that pop. Let's print the stack there. Let's pop it again. And then we'll print the stack and we should end up with this thing. So let's see what we have. So we have A and B, we pushed on the stack and we print it. Then we push C on top of the stack, we print it, and then we pop the top element off and we print the stack. And that gets us back to what we had in the first line here. So we've kind of got the core fundamentals of this stack, but a few other, other functions we can include in this are, are helpful. Namely, we could have a function which is called is empty, and this will return whether or not the uh, stack is, is empty or not. So for instance, if we were to do, let's just get rid of this and say print uh, s dot is empty. We should get true here because there's nothing on the stack at this point. Uh, let's see, I forgot to put self in there. So we get true. So now if I say s dot push, again, we'll just push a or something like that. And we'll print if the stack is empty, we should get false for the second time. So we have true for the first and false for the second. Uh, another thing that we can do is we can have this thing called a peak operation, which this tells us what is the topmost element of the stack. So if we were to peak on this stack here, the topmost element would be D. So let's just, let's uh, create the stack here. Let's push A, B, and C, and D. So A, B, C, and D. We'll get rid of this. And we need to actually define peak here. So peak, we need to check first if the stack is empty. So if the stack or I should just say if self dot is empty. Well, let's see, we want to, we want to run this if it's not empty. So we'll say if the stack is not empty, then we'll return the uh, last element of the list in this case, which is the top element of the stack. So we want to return self dot items of negative one, which is the uh, last item in the list for Python. So that should do that. So let's give this a try. We'll peak and we should get D as the, as the element that uh, Python thinks is on the top of the stack. 
So s dot peak. Let's see what we get here. So we have true from this previous call to is empty before we filled the stack with anything, and then we have uh, d, which is the top of the stack there. So go ahead and just create a, a stack object, and if you you don't have to limit yourself to um, you know letters or strings or anything like that, you could also push numbers, which we'll do in subsequent videos as well. Um, just go ahead and just play around with this data structure, get a sense for how it, how it works, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.